Snoop Dogg, the legendary rapper, is certainly reaping the rewards of his hard work over the last few decades. Having gained fame in 1992 with his appearance on Dr. Dre's solo single, Deep Cover, Snoop has more than solidified his position in the industry. Beyond his music, Snoop Dogg has showcased his talent on the big screen and diversified his business ventures, investing in cannabis products, launching his own line of slippers, and hosting the primetime show Martha and Snoop's Potluck Dinner Party. While some of his business stories might seem unconventional, all of his endeavors have contributed to his substantial net worth. Snoop's luxurious lifestyle can be seen in his real estate portfolio, and while his current residence in Diamond Bar, California is kept quite private, we do know a few details about it. The home boasts features like 4,000 square feet, four bedrooms, a movie theater, and a swimming pool. Acquired by the rapper in 1998 for 720k, property's value has since quadrupled to 1.7 million as of 20. 23. While his current home is impressive, one could argue his former estate in Claremont, California surpassed it in certain ways. In 1994, Snoop purchased his first home for a mere $660,000. But these days, the value of the Mediterranean-style mansion has skyrocketed to an astounding $2.5 million. This grand estate was even showcased on a later episode of MTV Cribs, where Snoop gave a tour to viewers at home. Back in 1994, at the cusp of his breakthrough into the world of Hip hop. Snoop Dogg picked himself up this very first home for around $660,000. And this thing, well, it's about as far away from a dog house as you could imagine. Featuring eight bedrooms as well as five and a half baths, this Mediterranean style villa is located in the suburban neighborhood of Claremont, California. Over the course of the time he spent living in this house, Snoop would have a considerable amount of work done to it, including the installation of marble floors, sweeping grand staircases his very own home movie theater, and what's easily one of the highlights, an outdoor LA Lakers basketball court. When Snoop first moved into this place, it wasn't much bigger than around 3,000 square feet. Once he was finished with all of those renos, it had more than doubled in size, clocking in at an epic 6,527 square feet of space. Despite how especially well-suited this home was for Snoop, he really didn't spend all that much time living here. In 1998, he bought his second home, which we'll get to in a moment, and by 2000, he had moved out of Claremont for this new home in Diamond Bar. Snoop held on to this property for the next few years, eventually selling it in 2008 for a reported $1.83 million, which is over a million dollars more than what he spent on the place himself. And again, there's no way all of that construction came cheap, so it's quite possible that Snoop simply broke even after moving on. Maybe Snoop should have held out just a little bit longer because today, this home is now valued at around $2.5 million. As much as I would absolutely love to bring you all inside this home located in Diamond Bar, California, there's simply not too much out there in terms of what this place really looks like on the inside. And considering that Snoop has posted more than 50,000 times on social media sites like Instagram without so much as offering us a verified glimpse, that should tell you the rapper likes to keep his home life private. What we do know is Snoop's second and now primary place of residence was first purchased back in 1998 for around $720,000. It's said to feature four bedrooms as well as four baths and nearly 4,000 square feet of living space. It's located in the gated community known as County Estate, a private neighborhood that sits at the end of a cul-de-sac. Snoop's home sits on more than 2.8 acres of land and comes complete with a gorgeous in-ground pool, spa, and outdoor basketball courts. Oh, and did I mention the panoramic views of the California countryside? Because those are included too. The interior of the house seamlessly blends contemporary and traditional elements, featuring high-end finishes and fixtures, as well well as some hardwood flooring. As you enter Snoop's residence, you are greeted by a stunning view of the main living room. The living room features a two-story ceiling with huge windows that let in ample natural light. Elsewhere, there's a formal dining room perfect for hosting large dinner parties, featuring a big table that can seat up to 12 people. One of the standout features of Snoop's house is his home theater. Home theater is said to be on the mansion's lower level and features comfortable reclining chairs and a large screen. As nice as this home is it hasn't exactly been smooth sailing for Snoop while living here, believe it or not, especially not once he got deep into the weeds of yet another home reno. Around 2018, Snoop began ordering a whole bunch of upgrades to this family home and hired a team of contractors to get it done. The only problem? 
Well, apparently these contractors did a horrible job. In fact, this company did so poorly that Snoop decided he had no other course of action but to sue them to the tune of $500,000. According to the website The Blast, Snoop claims various agreements were entered into and all obligations were fulfilled in his end. However, he claims they failed to perform all work as promised, failed to pay subcontractors, and failed to satisfy regulatory requirements. To complicate matters even further, Snoop's lawsuit is itself a counterclaim to another pending suit. This one filed against the rapper by landscape company PBQ Enterprises. This construction company is suing Snoop for refusing to pay over 12K in home renos, ranging from a light stucco touch-up to the more heavy-duty stuff like removing rust stains from the pool. As part of Snoop's counterclaim, he's asking that the original suit be dropped. But as of right now, all of this was still working its way through through the court systems. Located on the same street as his diamond bar mansion, Snoop picked up a two-story home that he affectionately refers to as the church <laughs> soon after moving into this neighborhood. This former three-bedroom home has now been converted into a recording studio complete with multiple conference rooms. It's basically where Snoop runs his entire empire from. Unlike with his home, Snoop's been willing to show off the inside of this place on a few occasions over on social media, especially his trippy recording studio. Basically, this place is Snoop's glorified man cave, the space the rapper uses to escape to when he wants to get creative or simply have some me time. And if you ever want to visit, then you will have to follow two simple rules that appear on signs that are apparently posted all around the place. One, if you are here to holla at dog about money, doing bad or personal problems, in general, go home. He's working. And two, no consumption of alcohol or smoking of any kind at church. No exceptions. Well, that last one was kind of surprising, especially considering most of us know Snoop as the most smoke-friendly man in the universe. Other than making music here, Snoop loves to shoot hoops on his basketball courts. I mean, we get that the star is a huge sports fan, but seriously, how much? many basketball courts could one man need. Many of the videos Snoop posts are said to take place at his two-story complex where he shows off his cooking skills and his spacey recording studio. After looking at where the legendary Snoop Dogg calls home sweet home, that's gonna wrap up today's tour. But before we go, answer this question for me. Would you consider building your workplace or office directly beside your main house or is that too close for comfort? You let me know in the comments below. And and don't forget to like, subscribe, and follow me over on Instagram to chat. I'm Kara the Vampire Slayer, and I'll see you all in another video. Bye!